You want to know exactly how to stake your Harmony One and also get the most profit from your Harmony One. Let's talk about that in today's video. Well, here we go again. My name is David Hughes Jr. And in today's video, we'll be talking about Harmony One and staking your Harmony One, how to do that. I'll be breaking it down and giving you guys all the information you need to know in order to begin making passive income off of your Harmony One. All right. So before we get into the video, man, you know, I have to let you guys know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you get updated on all Harmony One news. Also, make sure you like this video. Comment down below if you have any other questions before you watch the end of this video. OK, so make sure you watch the video all the way through helps my channel out man we on the way to 1000 subscribers man so i'm hoping to get there with that goal being said let's get into the video man so the first thing you want to do is go to the harmony one website all right so this is not the harmony one website this is the harmony one website all right? and so what you want to do is scroll all the way to the end of this page scroll all the way down just keep on scrolling ignore those beautiful artifacts here ignore all the graphics okay and then what you want to do is go to staking dashboard okay you'll see staking dashboard here at the end click staking dashboard i'm all i think i'm already signed in okay so we're going to sign out so i can give you guys an exact step-by-step -step tutorial all right so what you want to do is sign in once you sign in i'm gonna let you guys know up front all right you can create a new address. I've had trouble doing it this way for some odd reason. It never worked this way. I always got error messages. All right. Um, and another thing I want to note before getting started here was this working harmony. I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but I am using Google Chrome. Make sure you use Google Chrome and also make sure you have at least 1000 Harmony One to get started i don't want you guys to go through this tutorial and then you get to the end and realize well i cannot stake my harmony one because i don't have a thousand make sure you have a thousand harmony one i'm not sure if i emphasized that in the beginning of the video but anyway we're gonna go to using an existing address okay and so from here i've also had problems using every single one of these except for the explore with any address okay and so what you want to do is go to explore with any address and then you want to insert your harmony one address right here your harmony one wallet address and i'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to get started with that right now so what you want to do is on the google chrome website you want to go to the chrome web store and then you want to search up the harmony one wallet all right so go to the harmony one wallet install install this you see what's that removed from chrome on my eyes it says this because i already have it installed but it should say install for you all right so install the wallet and then you will click up here where it says extensions and the Harmony One wallet should be listed right here. So we're going to go ahead and go there. Um, and once you try to get into the Harmony One wallet in order to create an account, you'll see something that looks like this. It'll say account name, create, or you can import and put your private key or you can connect with your Ledger wallet. Now, I connect it with my Ledger wallet. And so I just hit connect and then it'll go through the steps and things like that that you need to do in order to create it that way. Or you can just create one, put a name in there, hit create, and it's going to give you um, it's going to give you words that you need to write down and it'll tell you to put them back in in the correct order. So you can do it that way. Just create an entire thing. Um, import. I'm not exactly sure how to work this one because I didn't I didn't have to do it. I didn't have to do it. I went through to create one before I. I realized I just should connect it with my Ledger Nano. So that's the only reason I know about the create portion. Okay. But once you get it done, once you get it done, you should see something that looks kind of like this. Okay. It have your account it have your wallet address and see mine says Ledger up here because I'm using Ledger wallet and you will see this right here. Now, in order to deposit your funds into the Harmony One wallet, simply hit deposit and then copy this right here now a lot of accounts like crypto.com coinbase and different things like that they'll allow you to just take a picture of this qr code and get it done that way simple easy now in some instances this may not work because it wouldn't work for me it's a lot of not working stuff when it came to trying to figure this out and so what i had to do was copy the address here manually once you copy it to your clipboard email it to you so email it to yourself copy it on your phone or your computer or whatever if you're using your phone now if you're using something like binance or crypto.com on your computer you don't have to go through this step but for those who like like me you do your phone most of the time and your accounts and stuff on your phone just email it to yourself copy it on your phone and then 
import it that way. So you'll just have to copy this into whatever um, broker or whatever you call it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever one you use, crypto.com, Binance, um, Coinbase, um, or some more that I'm forgetting. Um, but anyway, so go through that, link your accounts, and then once you do that and you deposit money into your Harmony One wallet, it should take roughly five minutes. So don't be alarmed. But I will give you a tip. Do not deposit the entire amount because it is the fee for transporting the Harmony One is not a lot. At least not with crypto.com it isn't now it could be different for the other platforms but just to be on the safe side only do a small amount first just to make sure it goes through correctly now once you do that you want to go back to where it says explore with any address put your address in here and then hit explore and now you should be in and now it doesn't say sign on anymore is is i'm signed in and then you can choose from these different pools okay and so what you want to kind of watch out for and what i've noticed on this platform from using it just for a small amount of time you at a minimum want to get a 10 percent return okay you want to get a 10 percent return and you want to get a pool that has at least a 99 percent uptime okay those two are very important fees vary okay i usually see somewhere between five to ten percent being okay um when you get up and up into the 20s and 30 percent i probably would stay away from those unless you know that that pool has different things going on that other people may not know about or if you've been doing your research on a certain pool and they've been working on different things and stuff like that Okay, because it's some like I watch some um, channels and stuff that have different pools, not necessarily harm to one, but have different pools um, that have high fees because they're working on so much for the people who delegate to their pool. So if you're in a situation like that, that's different. But if you're just somebody who is looking to get into a pool and does, don't have a lot of research done yet, somewhere between the five to 10 percent range and you want to try to look for that 99 percent uptime 98 may be fine but it's a lot of pools here to have that 99 percent rating and so you probably want to stick with those all right and so after that you should be done but let me show you guys i have not put all of my harmony one into this system yet so i want to show you guys what happens if you try to delegate um and um you don't have a thousand harmony one so let's say you want you want to delegate and it says data is loading right and so let's go to delegate this is what it says not enough funds to delegate minimum 1000 harmony one okay and so you want to like i said make sure that you have the 1000 harmony one before you get started okay so make sure you have that once you have that you should be good to go okay and so that's it man that's the tutorial that is the video um I want to say one thing before I let y'all go. Um, that's that's the whole thing. But if you have questions on how to get this done, please don't hesitate to comment down below in the comment section, man. I love helping you guys out. I love when y'all get into the comment section because I can help you out even more. And that helps the channel grow, man. We're on the way to a thousand subscribers, man. It's a big goal, but I'm trying to get there, and that's my goal. So thank you for all the support. We've been seeing a good amount of support on the channel with the Cardano videos, and I want to dive into some Harmony One videos. Also, my two favorite cryptocurrencies right now and it, it's some more that I have my eyes on i just don't know um enough in order to provide quality information quality videos yet but we will be talking about more cryptocurrencies on this channel we will be doing reactions again for the people who watch for that content as well thank you guys for watching like i said as always man you know who it is my name is david hughes jr continue to grind and also continue to shine i'll see y'all in the next video